And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Alioramus, which was a request from Dinosaur 4602, so thanks. Alioramus was a tyrannosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Asia, in mostly Mongolia. It was bipedal and it had sharp teeth. It's only known from juvenile or subadult specimens, so it's not clear how big Alioramus could get as an adult. Kurzanov estimated it to be 16 to 20 feet or 5 to 6 meters long, but apparently he didn't take into account the fact that skulls lengthen or get deformed during fossilization, so this may be an overestimate. It's also hard to guess length from just a skull in general. Yes. Alioramus did have more teeth than other tyrannosaurids. It had 76 or 78 teeth. And it had long legs, which is like other young tyrannosaurs. They had long legs. They could fill a different niche than larger adult tyrannosaurs. Because these long legs meant that they could hunt small, fast prey. There's two species, Alioramus remotus and Alioramus altai. The type species is Alioramus remotus, which was named in 1976 by Sergei Kurzanov, and the name means different branch. The crest and low skull looked different from other tyrannosaurids, and Kurzanov thought that it was not closely related to other members of the family, which is why he named it different branch. Like different branch of the family tree, basically? Mm hmm. It's not clear how Alioramus is related to other tyrannosaurids. It may be closely related to Tarbosaurus batar. The holotype was found in the Gobi Desert. And they found a partial skull and three foot bones, also known as metatarsals in Mongolia, of Alioramus remotus. Stephen Brusati and others described a second species, Alioramus altai, in 2009. And there's a possible third species, Alioramus sinensis, found in 2014 in China. I couldn't have guessed that's where that one was found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the Alioramus altai holotype was found in the Nemet Formation in Mongolia in a 2001 expedition. And the species name Altai refers to the Altai mountain range of southern Mongolia, and hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, or in the ballpark, but I'm not sure. So the Alioramus Altai specimen was much more complete, and it showed that Alioramus was not a juvenile Tarbosaurus, because it looked different from juvenile Tarbosaurus specimens that had been found. The Alioramus Altai specimen was about nine years old, and it had a long, slender lower jaw, but that could be a juvenile characteristic. The Alioramus remotus skull was about 18 inches or 45 centimeters long, and that was long and low, and the nasal bones had five bony crests. The Alioramus altai snout is about two-thirds of the skull length, and it had this thick nuchal crest, which is the part of the skull where the neck muscles attach, and that's similar to Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. Alioramus altai had at least eight small horns on its face, including two horns below the eyes and a row on top of the nose. And adults may have had more ornamentation. That's cool. Yeah. But it's unclear why it had these crests on its snout. Alioramus remotus may have also had eight horns on its skull, but the holotype's too fragmentary for us to know for sure. So based on the number of teeth, which were evenly spaced, and the narrow skull, Alioramus probably didn't have a strong bite compared to other tyrannosaurs that had these deep, heavy skulls. So it could have gone for unarmored prey. Alioramus lived alongside Tarbosaurus, so they went after different types of prey, and that's known as niche partitioning. It couldn't do the puncture-pull style of feeding like large adult tyrannosaurus that have really strong bite forces that could crush bone, like Tarbosaurus, because Tarbosaurus had the short, deep skull. Just like T-Rex. Yes. Alioramus lived in a wet, humid climate, possibly among sauropods, pachycephalosaurs, and chylosaurids, and hadrosaurs. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 